Hello, my peeps. Um, I am here to share with you guys my Sunday outfit of the day. Today is March, what is today? March 7th, I believe it is. And um, I wanted to first start off by saying thank you for everybody who uh, prayed for my mom. I greatly appreciate it. Uh, she's still in the hospital and actually I will be flying back on Tuesday um, to spend some more time with her. And um, I'm sure that, that by the time you guys see this video, she will be home. Um, um, so yeah, but um, thank you so much. And one of my lovely subscribers, Life is Beautiful, she sent my mother these beautiful um uh plant a beautiful plant and my mom was so happy and so touched by you know um the thought of her sending her uh a plant and uh, that was just very very sweet of you and i just wanted to i already told her thank you but i just wanted to share with you guys you know how wonderful uh, my subscribers are, you know, everybody who I've been in contact with, um, you know, has just really uh, been very supportive and an avenue for me to be able to talk to them about it. And uh, for everybody else who has, you know, sent prayers, I greatly, greatly appreciate it. It means so much to me. And I just wanted to say thank you to everybody. Um, so, Let's get on with the outfit. I just wanted to share with you guys, uh, before I show you the whole outfit, the jewelry that I have on. And I just have on these earrings right here. And these are, um, oh God, who, not Ken, these are, um, oh, the other, um, not Kendra Scott. Why am I going blank? These are not Kendra Scott earrings. Um, you know what? My mind has just gone blank. I will leave the name of uh, these earrings right here um, because my mind has just gone blank. I have no idea why, but it has. But anyway, and so as far as the bracelet, I have this right here on. This is Avon. I do remember that. And then I have on this beautiful watch right here and uh, the lovely um, luxury hybrid gifted this for me when we had did the sisters secret Santa secret sister gift exchange. So, um, I have this right here on and, um, what else? Oh, for my sunnies, I have on these right here and they are from Henry Bendel. If you can see right there. So that's what these right here look like. And, oh, I almost forgot the necklace. The necklace I got, where did I get this from? I believe I got this from White House Black Market, if I'm not mistaken. And um, yeah, it just has these little red jewels in them. So I thought that would go really good. You know, I have just a little splash of red on. And for my shoes, I have on these. You guys have seen these before. And these are by Jeffrey Campbell. And I just absolutely love these shoes. I get so many compliments on them. And I've said it before, it gives me that Gucci but Gucci vibe because it has this little horse bit right there. And I just thought, think the heel of that is just so cute. So those are the shoes that I'm wearing. And for my bag, I have, I'm using this beautiful Henry Bendo bag. And it does have a shoulder strap to go with it. But I don't know. When I go to church, I just like carrying it as a top handle so I don't attach the shoulder strap onto it. But um, yeah, so this right here is the bag that I'm carrying. And I'm just going to go ahead and step back or flip the camera around so you guys can see what the whole outfit looks like on. Okay, so for the top, I can't remember where I got this top from, but it's a sleeveless top here, as you can see. And today is really nice outside. It's probably, I don't know, in the 70s or so. So this is the top. It's just a plain black top here, sleeveless. And for the pants, um, where did I get these from? I either got these from Macy's or Nordstrom's. And it's just these black pants. You guys have seen them 
seen me wear them before and I just wanted to wear actually this is today is my first time wearing this uh, leopard print sweater and I got this last year during the Macy's anniversary sale and so I was really quite fortunate that I was able to snag this actually Amber um, pick this up for me. Uh, she was also looking for one for herself because when we first started um, looking for them during the anniversary sale, they were all sold out. So she snagged, she snagged me one in a size small. And then when, God, actually this, you know, last year, late last year, when they became available, I actually took it into, uh, back to Nordstrom's and was able to exchange it for a medium size one. So I had the sleeves rolled up just because I wanted my jewelry to be able to show. So this right here is what the entire outfit looks like. So I'm going to just step back. <music> Hello, my peeps. How is everyone doing? Today is what? March the 30th. And, you know, the world has been turned upside down with this coronavirus. Um, yeah, it's, 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 it's crazy. It's, it's crazy. But um, I'll get, I'll talk about that a little later on. But um, I got some subby mail from my girl Yoda Styles, and you know, I tell you, she is such a sweetheart. Um, you know, I've been uh, conversing back and forth with her, you know, talking with her about my mom, you know, sharing with her, uh, you know, privately and things like that, and um, so. She, I'm sure, wanted to cheer me up a little bit. So she sent me some subby mail. Oh, and let me show you this right here. She also sent me this shirt. And I wanted to show, show it to you guys. But this is what it says. Glue it up and keep it moving. You know, I had did a video uh, some time ago on some thrift finds. And one of the thrift finds were some knives. And the, the, uh, the block on the knives was, um, was damaged. So when I was uh, doing the video, I kept saying, you know, glue it up and keep it moving, glue it up and keep it moving. And she found that hilarious. So she had the shirt made for me. I said, you know, she is such a prankster, I tell you. But, um, yeah, but I wanted to show this to you guys and she got it in my favorite color, red. So, um, yeah. So anyway... Um, so it's in this envelope here and I already know what it is because she told me she was going to send it to me. She had shared it with uh, you guys too. It was, I think, um, one of her, her great Amazon finds. Oh, and this is so cute. And it has this card right here and she wrote in the card. Um, I'll read that later, but this is what she sent to me and it is this brooch. Let me take it out. And, oh, hold on, let me put you guys on pause. Okay, so it is this cute little brooch here, and it has the GGs in it, and it is so cute. I love brooches. Um, I have a couple of them. Um, I have two Chanel ones that I have, but this right here is so cute, and I'm going to just put it on here really quick, and... Um, she had got this off of Amazon, and I had commented to her. I said, that is so cute, but look at that. Isn't that so cute? And it has the little GGs on it. So she gifted me that. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Um, yeah, so you can tell from the title of this video, I had one outfit of the day, uh, what well, Sunday outfit of the day to share with you guys. That was my last day at church. Um, 
because then they stopped doing services. Now we have services online. So, you know, I sit here in the comforts of my home and I uh, do church service that way, which is great. Um, what else do I want to share? Oh, my mom is, she's in rehab now. Uh, she'll be coming home. She's been in rehab for two weeks now and she'll be coming home next week. Uh, again, thank you guys so much for all your prayers. It really, really, really means a lot to me. Um, you know, um, I, I just really, I really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Um, yeah, so she'll be coming home next week, which I'm really happy about because, you know, you know, some of the nursing homes, you know, the virus is there. I had heard on the news that a couple of you know, patients had passed away and it really scares me that she's there because, you know, nobody, nobody can go visit them as far as family members, but you know, you still have the, the workers that come in and, you know, we don't know if they have the COVID virus and obviously they do because they were the ones that passed it on to the patients because family members and things like that, we can't go there. So they had to get it from somewhere. And of course it was the, uh, the workers. So I'm really actually glad that she's going to be getting out of there. I've just been praying over her while she's been in there. Um, that, you know, she doesn't get that virus. Um, and I'm laid off from work because as you guys know, I am a dental hygienist and that is a non-essential job right now for what's going on. So I've been laid off since the 17th, no, no, the 21st was my last day because I work at two offices. And I'm going to tell you, I'm going to keep it real. I've been enjoying it. I've been enjoying this time off. You know, I'm loving it. I'm not loving the reason why I'm off because of the virus, but I'm just enjoying this time off from work. Um, I am not stressed out over it at all. Um, I just, what gets me through it is just prayer. I just keep myself, you know, I read my Bible, you know, and, you know, I just, that's where I get my strength from. Because otherwise, I just have so much going on with my mom being ill. She got ill. No time is a good time to get ill, but definitely not now with this virus going on because she was in the hospital, you know, and then she was in the rehab place. And, you know, I was just really concerned about her getting sick with that. Um, you know, me not working right now. Thank God my husband is still working. Uh, me not being able to see my mother. I did go back home to Boston a few times, um, but then at a certain point, they cut off all visitation at the hospital and at the rehab place. So, you know, I just had a real lot going on and, you know, uh, conversing back and forth with the doctors in Boston. I'm here in California. And um, I just said, you know what? I have to, I, I, I can't stress myself out over it because stressing out, it's not gonna do anything. The issues, the problems are still going to be there. Um, so for me, you know, I just, you know, I read my Bible, you know, I pray, um, you know, I just, I just encased myself around positivity, gospel music, you know, talking to, you know, people who, you know, who are positive, um, and that's what's helped me get through all of this right here and what's going to sustain, um, me to get through this here. Um, we are all, I'm not stressing out over bills or anything like that because, you know, just like I told people, some people are stressed out over that. I said, you know, what? this is a pandemic. The whole world is in this together. So there ain't nobody going to be getting evicted. Ain't nobody going to be getting their cards taken away. You know, credit card, all that stuff has been put on pause. And, you know, it's a little different when it only affects you. Like if you, you know, if you lose your job, then that's a little bit more stressful because, you know, it's just you. But this is a daggone pandemic. So everybody's in the same boat. So, you know, I'm just waiting to collect my unemployment whenever that rolls through. Um, and I'm just really enjoying this time, just the, you know, and you're spending time with family, um, you know, um, and, and just things like that, because, you know, with the hustle and bustle of everyday life, you know, you, uh, you the real important things get just fall by the wayside, but this pandemic, this virus, I'm going to tell you. You know, um, it puts everybody on an even playing field. Don't matter if you're rich, don't matter if you're poor, don't matter if you're black, don't matter if you're white, 
don't matter if you're Asian, none of that matters. This virus does not discriminate. So, you know, um, you, you know, you know, you, if times like this, unfortunately, really brings to the forefront of your mind of what is important. And I remember when I was younger, my mother used to always say, thank God for your health and strength. And I used to think, yeah, that's just some old people say, no, that is true. Thank God for your health and your strength because none of this other crap matters. You know, it, it just doesn't matter. People are dying left and right. Young people, old people, it doesn't matter. People are dying. And, you know, I tell you, I take my hat off and I applaud all those nurses, doctors, firefighters, police officers, the grocery people, all those people that are, you know, essential. My husband's working, you know, because he works in the automotive field, car repair and things like that. And so they consider that an essential because, you know, they want people to still be able to function and do you know, get things done, you know? So for those people that have to work, that are out there, thank you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, So yeah, but just, you know, I'm working out at home. You know, I, I already had a treadmill. I bought me some weights. I bought me those, um, um, what do you call them? Those bands that you can use for your legs to work out your legs. So I'm working out because I refuse to emerge from this 10, 15, 20 pounds heavier. No, it's not going to happen because, you know, it's easy. You get complacent, you get comfortable, you know, you're at home all day long. You got a house full of food because everybody's out there, you know, uh, scavenging, you know, trying to hoard stuff. And, you know, so it's very easy. So I have to practice social distancing from my refrigerator. Yes, because no, 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 no. You know, so I work out five days. I work out more now than when I was working because I didn't have the time. Now I have the time. I have no excuse. So, you know, so I'm working out at home five days a week, you know, um, but I just want to, you know, offer some words of encouragement for those going through, you know, it's, a, you know, it can be a scary time, but, you know, uh, you know, try not to try not to stress out um, because we're all going through this together. We're going to get through this. Um, don't know how long it's going to take. But, you know, um, to me, God is telling us bow down, you know, bow down to him because he is in control of all of this. The plagues, pandemics have been around since the beginning of time. And, you know, every so often, I feel we need to be checked as a society, you know, because people, you know, some people are just going crazy out there. You know, society is just going crazy. You know, just the the things that people were doing to one another. And, you know, I just feel personally, this is just my own thought, you know, that this is God's way of saying, bow down. Because what you're going through, you know, he wants the focus to be on him. That's just my take on it. You know, he wants the focus to be on him. You know, because he is going to be what gets us through this. Um, you know, that's where I get my strength from. And, you know, I'm going to leave you guys with something at the end that you could read. And that's pretty much it. Um, I don't know. I'm not going to be doing any more Sunday dress, best dress videos because I ain't got nothing to dress up for. You know, I mean, I'm here at the house, you know, just, just, you know, um, doing what I'm told to do, staying at home and keeping safe, staying healthy. I pray that you all are doing well. Um, if you have any prayer requests that you, you know, want me to pray over, you know, for, let me know down in the comments and I will definitely put you guys on my prayer list. And I have no problem with doing that because we're all in this together. We are all in this together. Okay. So, 
Stay safe, be healthy, and I love you guys. Bye-bye.